I'm finally doing life now. Life. I'm really living. Sometimes I still like I'm feel like I'm paying for past mistakes. You know, what people think of me. Um, that I had to recertify and go through all that stuff. That I had to feel kind of humiliated that, you know, I'd let myself get into such a mess. And she said, and I confuse that paying for past mistakes, which is unavoidable. You make a cho choice, you pay the price. You pick the more expensive item off the shelf and you show up at the checkout counter, you have to pay the more expensive price. And the price of being irresponsible and making bad choices for years is heavy. She said, I confuse paying the price with failing because it feels bad. Anytime she'd felt bad, it was because she failed. Right? And then when she failed, she felt bad. And then that becomes a cycle. And so anytime something becomes difficult, she equates that with failing. She said, but, you know, I suppose it's not really failing. It's just being responsible. Oh, let me breathe. Yes, when we change our lives around, there's always a price to pay. For one thing, as we change our lives, there are some people who are going to think we're weird because they've gotten used to knowing us in our crippled, hobbled state. Some people will leave us because the old forms of trading are gone. We'll have to pay for past mistakes. We'll have to repay loans that we've racked up. We'll have to catch up on careers. We'll have to rebuild relationships that we've destroyed or find new ones. Unavoidable. But when we experience these inconveniences and discomforts, Sometimes we feel isolated because we're really working to get out of the hole and there are not always a lot of people cheering us on. We feel ashamed. That makes us feel alone. We feel like we're failing again as we slip and fall on our way out of the hole. But no, we're not failing. We're just being responsible. Being responsible for our present choices and for our past mistakes. So what do we do? Oh, just pay the price and move on.